It entails um, being a centre that offers facilities for all people of all disabilities um, and non-disabled. So it's about champion, championing their kind of voices, really. Um, we've got gym that is IFI accredited. Um, so it means that certain parts of the gym has got a certain amount of equipment in there for people with disabilities. And it's about making it a welcoming place for all, really. And Erica, what sort of activities do you provide for these people? Um, we do a whole range of activities. Um, we do a whole range of different sporting activities um, for our individuals um, with disabilities and for those who have got disabilities. Um, we do gym programmes, um, hydrotherapy, um, cricket, football, tennis, um, the whole range, climbing wall. There's, there's just everything going on there at the centre. And if, if the services you offer weren't available through Portway Lifestyle Centre, would there be support for these people elsewhere? There would be support, but there wouldn't be the level of um, interaction with their local community. Um, and I think that's what's important. We have um, the centres open to general public as well as people with disabilities. So I, th I don't think if Portway was there, um, we'd have that level of interaction. Our recent report came out suggesting that disabled people in the West Midlands don't get enough support in the workplace. What more do you think could be done? Um, I think what we've tried to do, we've got, um, with Sandra Lesser Trust and with ourselves, we've been giving uh, opportunities for people with disabilities to become volunteers within the centre. Um, so within um, Portway we have one, we have, we have several individuals that have had that opportunity to have um, voluntary work and go on to paid employment, but giving them that level of, of kind of building their confidence before going out to work, this is what work's all about. So, and, and supporting them through that.